Welcome to another video by Game, by Game Dev, Dev Journey. Journey. Today we are going to be looking at the simplest of user interface components, buttons, specifically textured buttons with rollover stages, and how they're implemented in the different game engines. If you enjoy it, please tap that like button and consider subscribing to motivate me to make more videos. All right, first up we have Construct, and we're gonna accomplish this quite easily by building a little user interface here with some components that I have ready made. And so we will drag and drop a little button sprite into this window. And we'll just resize it. And now what we'll do is we'll create three different animation states. The first we'll just call normal for your standard button and we'll add an animation state for hover and then another one for pressed so that we can transition between normal hover buttons and pressed. Each one will just be a different color in this case so we can see the difference. So what we'll do now is on the event sheet, we need to add a mouse event. So let's just go back and um, add the mouse object to our layout. So now when we're on our event, we can um, have a um, mouse enter event for the button so that when the cursor is over our button, we make sure that we switch to the hover animation. Then what we'll do is we'll add another mouse over event for the button, but we'll invert it. So we'll say when the cursor is not over the button, then we set the animation to the normal button. Now we can also add a mouse event so that when the left button is down and you're over the button object, then we switch to the pressed animation. So we can go ahead and test this and there we have our nice hover effect and when we click we get the click button. Nice and simple in Construct. Well done, Construct. Now we'll switch to Game Maker Studio 2 and see how we accomplish the same task. Let's start by creating our sprites. And again, we're just going to import three different sprites, our three button sprites that we used previously, three different colors, um, green, blue, green, and red. And we'll just switch between them for the different states. Sure we just click middle center for all of them or we all have the sprite changing positions on the screen we'll rename this one hover let's create one more this will be the pressed animation Let's rename this pressed. Now let's create an object for these sprites. We'll call our object button because that's what it is. And we'll attach the um, correct sprite for each um, event. Our first event will be a mouse enter event because this is going to be the transition from the normal button to the hover. So when the cursor enters the sprite, 
we will switch to the hover sprite. Now we'll add another event and this one will be the mouse leave so that when we um, move off of the sprite we switch back to our normal sprite. The next button will be left down or left pressed, e either one will work. And when we are pressing the left key down, we're going to switch to our pressed sprite and then we must just make sure we have left released. So let's add an event when the mouse left button is released we go back or switch back to the normal sprite. So pretty simple to do in Game Maker Studio 2 drag and drop. Well done Game Maker Studio. Now let's have a look at how Godo and Unity achieve the same task. The same thing we did with a button and a script. Let's add another one. Here's a background for a user interface. We'll add that as a texture rect. Now we'll just create a little mock user interface here. This is just a sprite that would represent a menu for now. We'll drop it in over here. label to that ribbon. Perhaps this is a select screen. Now let's imagine we want a textured button on this little menu. We have another texture button and we have four states for the button. Let's add the blue to the normal, um, green for hover, red for pressed, and grey for disabled. Let's just resize this button. Remember to click on the expand to change the button. And there we go. Textured button cycling through the different states. Our button's working very nicely. Hover, hover and press. And it cycles through. Now let's jump to Unity and see how we achieve the same thing. So here we are in Unity, I've already set the project up so you don't have to watch me going through all that again. And we have our little window here, we're going to add a user interface element, a button. Here the button is, we zoom out, and we don't need the text on the button. Let's just put it in the position. Now let's just expand and get rid of the text. Alright, so we're going to put it on from color tint to sprite swap in a moment. Let's just resize this button so that it looks like is no longer squashed. That's looking good. Now to change color tint to sw sprite swap and now we have our states again. Normal, pressed, hover and disabled. Let's drag our images in and test it out. So we can hover and it turns green, click and it goes red and its normal state is blue. I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported me so far. As always I hope you enjoyed that and look forward to seeing you all again next time.